Now we learn the chorus right after this part, which goes. This is the preview, so don't worry about it, sir. Repeats again with a little bit of something different, but I'll tell you exactly what is different in the second part of the chorus. So there's part one of the chorus, and um, it's chorus one and chorus two as well. So there's a lot of different parts in this song, but I'll teach you exactly what's the structure right after. Don't worry about it. Okay, so let's get right to the right hand first. So the chorus, uh, right hand starts off at C, up to A, and then G, F, G, A, C, G. A, C, G, A, G, G, A, B flat, A, G, E, F, A, D, F, A, D, E. Okay, so that's the first part of the chorus. Um, well, this part one of chorus one, to be exact, okay? <laughs> A lot of choruses, so let's do it again. So, C, A, G, F, G A C G A C G A G G A B flat A G E F A D F A D E. Okay, so this is the first part of chorus one for the right hand. Okay, and now let's learn the chords for the chorus one, part one. <laughs> okay, F major, F A C. C major, C, D, e, G, and D minor, D, F, A. Okay, let's do it again. So, F major, F, A, C, C major, C, E, G, D minor, D, F, A. So those are the three chords for this first part. So let's go ahead and learn the two hands together now. So right hand starts first. A and F major together. After A, C major chord by itself. And then F and D minor chord together. Okay, that's the first part. Let's do it again. So, together. Okay, now let's learn the second part of the first half, uh, yeah, the second part of chorus one. So, right hand goes E, E, up to A, C, A, F, E, D, B flat, B flat, C, B flat, A, C, A, A, B flat, A, F, down to B. Up to G, 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 F, A, G, F, A, G, F. Okay, that's the second half. Let's do it again. So, start some. E, E, A, C, A, F, E, D, B flat, B flat, C, B flat, A, down to C, A, A, B flat, A, F, B. Up to G, 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 F, A, G, F, A, G, F. Okay, so that's the right hand for the second part of the chorus one. Okay, so let's teach you the chords for this part. So A minor, A, C, E, B flat major, B flat, D, F, and then F major, F, A, C, and then G major, G, B, D, and then C major, C, E, G. All right, so let's do it again. So one more time. So A minor, followed by B flat major, followed by F major, followed by G major, followed by C major. All right, let's put the two hands together. So left hand A minor chord starts first. D 
and B flat major go together. C and F major chord together. B and B, G major chord together. After A, C major chord by itself. Okay, so that's it. Let's do it again. So, second part of chorus one. So, together. 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 Here. Okay, so that's the end of chorus one. Chorus two is actually very, very similar except for extra chord um, inside, like a passing chord, and um, the ending was it's just a little bit different. I'll tell you exactly what is the same and what isn't. Okay, so after this part. So we go back to the A part. And so we don't do the middle. Um, remember the start of the song, it goes dun, da, 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 da. five notes. We don't play those five notes. We go straight to. Da, 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 da. Okay, so if you understood that, let's go at the end of the chorus one again. So in, at the end of the chorus one, goes like. Now to chorus two, which goes straight into the A part without the five notes at the start. So, same. Same. So, here's the extra chord. When we play the G, we play a passing A major chord together. Yeah? Just some extra oomph to it, okay? And then F with D minor chord, the same as before. And then A minor chord, same as before. D and B flat major chord together. C and F major chord together, same as before. B and G major, the same as before. Okay, so we didn't play. That's the first part, end of the first part. We don't play that anymore. We go straight into this part, which goes to C major here. And then right hand does A, F, F, A, G, F. And that's the end of the second chorus. Okay, so let's recapture all the things that we just like discovered about the second chorus being different to the first chorus. So at the end of the first chorus, it's like this. And then when we get into the second chorus, we jump straight into the A and F major chord together. So we don't play the first five notes like the first chorus. So together. Here. And then at the G, we add the extra A major passing chord different to the first chorus, so together, and then F and D minor chord the same, same, We don't play the end of the first chorus here, the da 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 So we don't play that part, we jump straight into the thing that we just learned before, which is C major. And then the right hand does A, F, F, A, G, F. Okay, so that's the end of the second chorus. Okay, so after the end of the second chorus, there's this...